Hey everybody, welcome to the Generally Mismanaged Podcast. I'm your host, Renato Paniago, here with my good friend, Robert Migliori. Hello there. How's it going, man? It's been a while. It has. It's, it's been a long time. Uh, yeah. But, you know, we've finally reached the end of the 2019-2020 regular season. The wild card's in, playoffs are, are you know... And 10 teams are saying, thank God. Yeah, for real. Now, for, for, real. for a few teams, now the season really begins. I think I was, just really quickly, like, uh, I was watching the NFL Network this morning, and one of the, like, a cow, ex-cowboy was, like, talking about, like, playoffs, and he was like, you know what's really scary about January football is that the finality of it, like, how, he even put it this way, he was like, it's like an existential sort of thing. You You lose... There is no next Sunday. You ever wonder if there's certain players that are just like, oh man, I'm fucking tired on the season. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna half-ass this one play. Hopefully we lose. I'm tired, man. I would you? No, I don't no, think that I could even that possibly happen. Happens. Like even if, like for example, like the a team like the Cowboys went into the playoffs eight and eight. Like if this season that happened, even if everyone was like, wow, dude, you guys were the only eight and eight NFC team, they would still try to be. They would be like, and we're going to be the only eight and eight team to ever win the fucking Super Bowl. Exactly. So and it, oh, just imagine the hell that would ensue throughout the NFL if an eight and eight team ended up winning the Super Bowl. Well, dude, I mean, anything's possible. The freaking Giants won when they were nine and seven. True. They took it all the way. True. Okay, but that little that little aside done. Why don't you start us off, man? What happened? Week seventeen. So. All right, so going through the list of teams, I'm just going to I'm going to do very quickly with each team. Um I'm going to start with Browns Bengals. Browns finally finally showed their true colors and it is brown. It is a bad shade of brown. Dude, it is it's a, honestly the not just not I'm not trying the to The joke is poop. Yeah, but <laughs> to, I'm not going to just co- sugarcoat it like uh, same thing that happened at the like I know the Niners is a different uh circumstance we lost jimmy g in week three but the browns like that hype machine was just derailed the hype train derailed crashed into an orphanage and (laughs) blew up okay the the browns hype train is now laying on its side and the problem was the train that went off the it went off the tracks because the wheels weren't done right but you just fucking murdered the conductor by getting rid of your your fucking GM. It's uh, Browns. Welcome back to misery. You have such a way with words, Max. It is. You a, have such a way I'm with a words. Poet. I'm a wordsmith. They're back to square one. Jimmy Haslam just decided to oh, redo everything again. Just blown it all up. Yep. Maybe they can get McDaniel's. I don't think McDaniel's can save that team. No, it's like they're try. They're gonna try and get McDaniel's. So they're gonna get Jason Garrett, and they're gonna like it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> what the fuck, Patriots? Oh my goodness! <laughs> I was watching this. I, I was okay, so I was watching most of the game, and then I just kind of kept coming back and forth <laughs> near the end because I was like, "There's no way the Dolphins are gonna pull this out. There's just no way. There's no holy shit. They did it. Where there's it, a will, there's a way, Migs. Yeah, that's that fits magic. Okay, that's it's that once a season fits magic. It normally screws your team out of um, draft position, which. In a sense, it did hurt the Dolphins' draft position, but anybody they were looking to draft with that first pick will more than likely still right. be there. Right, and uh, again, I'm, uh, I hate to, to compare it against the Niners, but it's kind of like the same thing when we beat the Seahawks last year. It was kind of like, uh, we we kind of lost out on like, I know we were still the second overall pick, but I remember we were talking that week and you were, you were kind of like, I'm happy, but shit, like I didn't want to win. Because like, then we lose Bosa. Right. But, but we got it, it anyway. Pe- it all And out. I didn't say I didn't want to win. I was happy about the win. But I thought it was a costly win. Okay, well, I, st- I stand corrected, but the Dolphins beating the Patriots, uh, the only thing I'm happy about is, I mean, I'm not really much of a Patriot hater, but to be honest, just seeing them in the wild card gave me such like a nice warm feeling. It's also kind of worse for the Browns, because now the Browns are the only team to not play in wild card weekend this last decade. Boo-hoo. <laughs> Boo-hoo. <laughs> the only, the, honestly, the Browns are the team that like, have suffered quite honestly the most and i just genuinely i'm like it's uh, yeah it's there's it's no a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a shame it's a shit show there is a god but he just there's always a cloud over cleveland so he doesn't get to see it yeah no no way all right um bears vikings this game didn't surprise me only because the vikings they rested a lot of their players and the bears 
The Bears were just fighting to get the Raiders' worst draft position. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna even lie to you. I didn't watch this game. I didn't even no, care. Yeah. I didn't even care about it because like when I, I once I heard that the Vikings were resting their starters, I was like, okay. Well, Vikings were like, we got this. We are the sixth seed. We can't lose it, and we also can't move up. So screw it. Right. There was no uh, they, stakes. The purple teams this week really had the same mindset of fuck it. Let's just get into the playoffs. Let's do it live. <laughs> Chargers Chiefs. Pretty well expected. Dude, honestly, Philip Rivers losing it in such a fucking Philip Rivers way. Oh God, dude. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was after last year the Chargers beating them. They beat the Ravens, and the wild card. I was like, damn, this team still has a lot to give. And like, I don't even know. But I heard it pretty well last year that the Chargers looked like a scary team going into this year because of how they did last year. But they had a pretty weak point differential last year. But not only that, most of their wins were one score. Now, say what you want. Yes, a win is a win. But when it comes down to one score, you can lose those games just as easily if the ball bounces a different way. So, are you, so basically you're calling them the Green Bay Packers now? Most of their green, most of the wins from the Green Bay Packers this year, their 13 wins have been decided by a score or less. I can think of another team that's very similar. But I'll, um, we'll get to that we'll later. hold off. Um, Jets, Bills. Again, Bills were also Bills resting some starters. starters and care. the Jets... The Jets needed to tank their draft position a little harder. But let's also point out, as shitty as the Dolphins and Jets were this year, they still finished with five wins. I'm, is, I'm more, I'm more, I would be more, I'm more excited for the Dolphins because I think the Dolphins kind of like, for what they had, Brian Flores actually made a pretty like, kind of not, not like a strong case. He dragged that team to five yeah, wins he did. after like, everyone thought they were tanking. Yeah, yeah, he did. Like after that first, like, what was it, like eight weeks or whatever, you're like, it's a race between who's the worst, the Dolphins or the Bengals, and you're like, the Dolphins all of a sudden were like, ah, we don't feel like fucking tanking anymore. It was just too depressing. It, it was it was kind of devastating. Were, weren't the season ticket holders about ready to file a class action suit? I, oh my god, I remember that. I like, thought I remember hearing something about that, or people were talking about it. <sighs> These, and then the Jets, I think the Jets, like, even though, yeah, they came out with five wins, to be honest, like, Adam Gase is such an overrated head coach. Uh, yeah, he's not a great coach, but the Jets' problems are way more than Adam Gase. Right. If I think if you get a Gase is not the type, he's not a bad enough coach that he's going to be the sole reason your team's bad, but he'll be the reason why your team doesn't take that next step. Then, then honestly, that's kind of worse because it is because then you don't get good draft position. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not comparing him to Marvin Lewis because at least Marvin Lewis got into some playoffs. Marvin Lewis was a fine coach. He just something always went wrong. Right. It was Marvin Lewis. Marvin Lewis should still be a head coach in the NFL. Yes. <laughs> Freddie Kitchens was a coach in the NFL this year. That's true. Um, moving on. Uh, Packers Lions. That was a weird a one. Freaking close. That's game, such dude. a weird That's one. Such a weird. Especially because that isn't the Lions team. That was that uh, Lions team without Stafford. Yeah, I know. That uh, I, honestly, if I were the Packers, I, I if I were a Packers fan, like I'd I'd kind of be kind of like. Uh, I know I'm biased, but like I, the Packers are such like an undeserving number. Two Packers seed. have the Saints seed right now. That's yeah, they really do. Like is. the way the way look at them, like the, you put the Packers against the the Saints, which is probably going to happen to be honest. So like. <laughs> so the, yeah. the, the, the Green Bay Packers are one of the weakest number two seeds I've ever seen. Really? Um, going in, Saints, Panthers. Not much to say here. The Saints just decided to take a big old fat shit on the Panthers. And the Panthers, you know, Panthers are just blowing it all up. I think the biggest mistake Panthers made this season was getting rid of Ron Rivera. Oh, dude, definitely, without a doubt. And, I th- I mean, I know you're wrong. I've heard people say, well, they need the culture change. Yeah, well, the problem is you need to fix your offense. I think Rivera's learned that running Cam into the ground was a bad decision, but what he does for your defense is massive. And that well, look Panthers... at the Bills, dude. Like, look at the Bills. You don't have to go very far to see that, like, the Bills with, you know, Josh Allen not being, like, the best quarterback. He's one of the best uh, red zone quarterbacks in the NFL. Right, and, like, they don't have, like, the best wide receivers. Like, they have, what, Cole Beasley and John Brown and... But like that's about it. I'm not saying that. No, I'm. I'm not saying that they're bad wide receivers. What I'm saying is like they're not like marquee level where you're like, oh, big names and Josh Allen is the white, unrefined Russell Wilson. 
He's baby face too. He, I mean, the thing is, he's not as fast as Russell Wilson. Well, remember, Russell Wilson isn't as fast as Russell Wilson used to be. That's true. He's and he's, scary. he's not as un, you know, you're not as afraid of Josh Allen as you are of Ru- Russell Wilson will carve your team up. You see that little that little commercial where he's like got the sippy cup oh, and the yeah. tiara no, with, dude, his honestly, da- with his daughter and he's just like raw. No, dude, the one that the one that always kind of grinds my gears again. I fuck, oh god, as a Niner fan, but it's like when he's a. Uh, when uh, they show like that play, that crazy play where he like Tyler Lockett caught it like in the corner of the end zone, and he was, and they were like, "Oh, I wonder how Russell Wilson does it." And he goes, "I, I don't know, like like this." And I'm just like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> oh, and Fuck I, you. I I like Russell Wilson the player. I like Russell. Oh Wilson, no, I the love Russell Wilson. too. Yeah, of course, I'm super down. I just really wish he was like on the not in the NFC West. <laughs> yeah, not in the NFC West. Uh, sorry, moving on. Jaguars could take him in a couple of years, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't. Dude, he's retiring a Seahawk. That's that. Maybe. I'm guaranteeing it. Maybe. I can guarantee right now he's gonna retire. We thought Peyton Seahawk. was gonna retire a Colt. Yeah, but like Peyton had like that weird like neck thing where and you're like, things, oh shit. And and it's horrible. It sounds things can always happen, man. That, Don't no, that's take true. It for granted. Oh, of course not. Okay, you know what? I. In my head, he'll retire. He, uh, he'll he'll always be known as a Seahawk. Yeah, right. Kind of like even until he takes the Giants to three straight Super Bowls <laughs> and beats the Patriots every time. No, um, oh god. Moving on, Falcons Buccaneers. Falcons turned it on the post, bro, bro. The last bro, part no, of the no, season, no, Mickey, Mickey, you don't even have to say anything, dude. Famous Jameis, thirty for thirty. Thirty. Thirty thirty. Yeah, sorry, ESPN's 30-30. Yo. 30-30, the James Winston story. Dude, that's all that matters. I'm I'm sorry to kind of like glaze over the Falcons thing. Like, yes, they went on like a nice little streak for their for for. for they ball. they really tanked their draft position. They really did. Game. I mean, if I think they were trying to save Dan Quinn, that's pretty much it. But the fucking famous James, dude, famous James, thirty three touchdowns. I like how interceptions. Did you hear Bruce Arians after the game? Yeah, he's done. He is done. Dude, I've never seen Bruce. I mean, I know Bruce Arians has always been like a brutally honest guy, but he, I've never seen him so nonchalant. Like, yeah, yeah, we can if we can win with this one, we can win with another one. Yeah, I know. He's it's the it's the best. He's this so done. Best. Like he was like, wow, I'm, I I I don't even know what an to do. offensive minded coach with a quarterback who just cooks up these turnovers it. and just. Yeah, there's a difference between Brett Favre gunslinging and Jam- famous Jameis. Like famous Jameis, just like. Here's the thing also. Jameis Winston puts up 30 touchdowns, but he has Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Just imagine, like, he's like, I'm going to want $30 million a year. Watch that some, like, so... The Cowboys don't want to pay Dak 40, so they pay Jameis 30. Dude, Miggy, I love how you're just memeing it up right now. It's, just no, memeing. just imagine Miggy's this timeline. Making, Miggy is making his meme dream team right now. This is, oh my goodness, running back Eddie Lacy, quarterback Jameis Winston. Super massive, like, Eddie Lacy, too, like the one that just came from, like, a buffet. They, if we do that, we need to get Kelvin Benjamin as wide receiver. <laughs> It's just trade away Marty, Marty Cooper. Marty Cooper, him. yeah, you trade him away for a third round pick, and do what the Seahawks did. Bring in old man, Mar- what Marshawn Lynch or whatever, but bring in fucking Demarco Murray too. Why Marco not? Murray, Demarco Eddie Murray, Lacey. come on, come we'll on. Get, uh, we can we'll keep, you can keep Wit. Back. We can keep Wit. You can keep Witten in there, but it's gonna be Witten. But the quality of tight end, like his quality of announcing, it'll be the exact same. Oh, God. I'm so happy he's back in the NFL just because I don't have to hear him commentate anymore. The offensive line is five different Eric Flowers, just at different <laughs> positions. Is he still even in the league? Yes, he's a guard now. Where he's is, actually pretty decent. Where is, he, guard. where is he now? Jacksonville? I think. I, don't I think know. he's in Jacksonville. Uh, anyway, but okay. Sorry. Go ahead, mix. All right, Eagles. Eagles. Giants. We expected this. Jerry, Jerry was watching the Eagles Giants when he was watching Cowboys Redskins. I wasn't expect I wasn't expecting to be so close for such a long time. But the the Giants I was sitting there watching the game I was like the Giants are going to fall apart. I just feel it. I just it, they're they're being duct taped held together in this game but in the, it's that Saquon level duct tape right. because honestly after that Saquon was it like 50 yard plus run they didn't really do much on offense. Right. Hey, to be honest, like I, I always say that, like I'm always surprised, like with how close the games are. But to be honest, like division games are always they're always they're weird. always a, they're always an ass. Like there's such a difficult 
Like, because yeah. the other teams always game plan for the division. Well, you that's the team that knows you the best. Like, regardless, mm-hmm. those are the teams that know you the best. So, like, that's why even if, like, Seattle was, like, 3 and two, like two, three, three, and and three. 3 and 3 or, like, 3 and 10 and we play them, it's, like, it's still a scary game because Seattle's Seattle, regardless. Oh, yeah. So uh, that one, I mean, the Eagles stamped their car, uh, their ticket to the to the wild card as the the king of Trash Mountain, the, the yeah. kings of Trash Mountain. So and they all thought they were gonna lose to the Niners in the wild card, but now they get to lose to the Seahawks in the wild card. God, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> uh, Titans, Texans, Texans were resting I, starters. I, I was I was actually kind of like surprised at the Texans. I mean, they weren't going to lose any. They weren't. They weren't going to lose the division. They weren't going to move up. So the Titans just came in and were like, "We'll just gotta do what we gotta do." Because they needed to win to make the playoffs. Right. So like, in a way, that that game didn't surprise me. AJ McCarron actually looked a little bit better than I thought he was, but that's not saying much. No, it's not saying much. Um, I just can't honestly. That as much as I want the Texans to, I don't have anything against the Bills. I just I think the Texans are better team. Yeah, but the Texans. Oh God, they're such like a hot and cold team sometimes you have in there no yeah sometimes you see them and they they beat the patriots and next thing you know they lose to the freaking who was it they lost they lost to after wasn't the, my, it was wasn't. A, i'm not i don't think it was like a shitty team it was like a mediocre team but regardless like i don't know what you're gonna get and then with the bills and all that stuff but we'll get into that later yeah um uh, cowboys redskins oh, we expected this typical cowboys <coughs> blowing out a division rival when there was Nothing no pressure, mattered. no pressure at all. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Cowboys did this because they were hoping the Eagles would lose. And remember, most of the players on the field probably didn't know that the Eagles had won yet. Oh, hell no. But so, as far as they were concerned... They're still fighting for their they're lives. They're still fighting for their lives. Doesn't surprise me. Redskins just complete the tank. And congratulations, you have the second pick in the draft. Probably going to say Chase Young because of probably. all the Ohio players you have. Um, <laughs> probably... Let's go on Steelers Ravens. This was the first kind of surprise for me, but I know a lot of people might be saying, "Well, the Ravens, the Ravens backups crapped all over the Steelers." Correct. But this was really a battle of backups versus mostly backups. Right. Or, or the, you know, well, I mean, the Pittsburgh Steelers team is essentially just backups. Besides backups. Minka, Minka, besides T- Minka, TJ. TJ what? The receiving core is terrible now. Yeah, like. Uh, I'm Juju, gonna say this. Juju, Juju, Juju. More time. He he uh, he obviously needed. He did well because AB took most of the Niners trade Dante Pettis for Juju Smith Schuster. Not happening. <laughs> Make it happen. No. It's throw in happening. a throw in a non-existent second round uh, pick. But going on, can continue because I honestly didn't even pay attention. Yeah. To uh, Jaguars Colts didn't really pay attention. I didn't care. Um, Broncos Raiders was just funny. It was funny. It was this <laughs> depressing shit show that. I never thought I'd say this in my life, but I feel really terrible for Oakland Raider fans. I felt terrible for them after their final game in Oakland when fans yeah. were throwing shit on the yeah, field. Yeah, yeah. But one fan starts walking away with the seat. Some A's fans, some A's fan. Well, no, there's no season ticket holders for the A's. But um, <laughs> some A's fan. Hey, that's coming from an A's fan. Some guy's gonna go there and be like, "Who the fuck's my seat?" And it's gone. Um, what a what a sh- what a what a honestly starting six and four and then just collapsing so hard. I don't even know what it was. Cause I just I again I didn't pay attention to them because I remember it was a defense. Yeah, do you, do you remember uh, you know the guy Brett Coleman on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, I, he has like a he has like a weird thing going on where it's like whenever he praises a team, they usually just I hope he shits on him. Sh- I hope he shits all over. No, his his newest video recently was on uh, like the defensive like tell of uh, the Patriots, and I was like, you fucking asshole! You're si- oh my god, no. Patriots Patriots are screwed. We'll see this week. We'll no, no, he week. said that the defense of the Patriots finally have like a like a weakness, like everyone can exploit it now, and I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> and he shits on Jimmy's footwork. What does Jimmy improve? His footwork. footwork. Yeah, you're right. See, I never, I didn't even think about that until right now, maybe. But we'll go on that later. Cardinals Rams. We expected this. I expected. Th- it's weird. The NFC West is a slugfest. The it's NFC West scary. is a slugfest because you've scary. got this. You got a Niners team that's only built to get better. You've got a Rams team that's only built to get worse. Mm -hmm. You have a Cardinals team that's built... Well, the way it's built is to stay the same. (coughs) But (coughs) then you have draft picks. You have free agency. This Cardinals team will be better next year. Oh, no, I'm scared of... I'm I'm pretty, like, 
scared to see. Like, the NFC West is already stacked now. The only thing about the Cardinals is that no matter how much you build that line, I think Kyler's still going to take a lot of sacks. Because if you look at it, most of Kyler's sacks this year were not on the fault of his O-line. Well, of course not. But, like, I think, again... I, he doesn't trust his O-line. He's... He's I no honestly I think he's just quick to pull the trigger and run deck it like run it like he's almost like Baker Baker not not saying that they're comparable what I'm saying is like Baker the moment like a little bit of pressure starts hitting him he does he's not a pocket presence he's he wouldn't go up he's like oh god I, I have to go run away do you wonder if maybe that's a um that's a big thing for Oklahoma quarterbacks yes because well Cause I think, think, think Jalen Hurts is very similar I I think. I think what people have to really differentiate, and, I'm, and I, of course, there's always going to be like outliers and exceptions, but quarterbacking in college is nowhere near the same in the NFL. Yeah, we can say right now and be like, well, Lamar basically just transferred all of his, it's like how he played into uh, Baltimore. I'm like, yeah, but then Let again, Taylor make the offense for. Him. That's what I was gonna say. Is like, yeah, but that it also helps when you have John Harbaugh at the helm, kind of scheming everything to fit your. Your t- like your t- tailor make your offense when you have like a random guy like Kyler and I don't even know anything about Cliff Kingsbury other than he was terrible at Texas Tech and he was with USC for a little bit but but I coach Patrick Mahomes I'm, it's just you just think about it and you're kind of like nah I mean I'm not saying that if there's a mobile quarterback like right now you can tell that the hot commodity hot commodity is a, mo- a mobile quarterback like that's it's been the hot commodity for the last right, but like now years. that Lamar, you have Kyler being the number one pick. Now you're having what? But then there was Vic, then there was Kaepernick, then there was RG three. But see, the, you know what's funny about all of them is that they eventually got either caught up, like they got caught up with time. Because I feel like when you're a mobile quarterback, you just can't keep up. The only level. one who didn't, I think, get caught with time, really, Russell. Russell, actually, with Russell. I think he's kind of transitioned into more of the pocket passer. I don't think Which I'm happy for him to be honest, because like, <laughs> well, right, the pocket, he's dude. but he's a pocket passer more in the sense of the pocket. Eventually, he knows the pocket's gonna break down. But Russell Wilson, okay, maybe calling him a pocket passer is a bad idea. Maybe what I should say is that he's not. He's not he as quick to like. He can't run around for ten seconds behind, like you know, he used to. twenty yards back like he used to. Honestly, I'm still surprised how like durable he is. Cause like I know like you, I know Andrew Luck isn't. He knows how to get hit. I, yeah, I think so. Cause like Andrew Luck, I know that he's not a mobile guy, but like you saw how many sacks, how what how they did him in. Like, and that's one thing about Russell though that makes me wonder. It's like, you know, the probability of getting injured is always the same, but the odds keep changing. Right, and. You know, heaven forbid for the Seahawks. What I I could easily see this happening for the Seahawks. Don't smile. Um, I'm not smiling. Is Russell Wilson? They build this great team. They they spend their money. They get their draft picks. They hit. The team's looking scary. Russell Wilson tears his ACL. I could see that happening. That's when Geno Smith comes in. The legend of Geno, <laughs> and he saves the team. And he t- saves them to six and ten. Um, gets them out of that good draft position. See, now I have to smile, Makes Now I have to smile. And so after Cardinals Rams, oh, lastly, there was nothing that really happened. Lastly, oh god, dude, lastly the the one that we were sweating bullets over. I still remember our text, dude, because like our text, you, you were like, I have a really bad feeling about this game, yeah. and I was like, me too. I I think um, a lot of that was going into Seattle. That was the big thing. Marshawn coming back, I knew he was just gonna be a. It just felt like, in a weird way, like I didn't start, I didn't start realizing like the implications, the implications, nor like the fact that like we were still we were playing in Seattle, and I think like even though I tried really hard to be like, dude, Marshawn Lynch hasn't played in like ten months. He's like, no offense to him, but Four, like uh, fourteen months. Fourteen, sorry, um, fourteen months. He kind of looks out of shape. Like I, even I felt for like the hype where I was like, shit, dude. What if Marshawn actually is like a pretty big factor or whatever? And I started getting weird vibes, and, and it wasn't that I had I didn't I didn't have faith in the team. It's just like the Seahawks always, always give us trouble. It's the division. Yeah, it is, and like, I you know how I remember you talking to me and you were like, dude, you know how like the Cowboys schematically fit like to to not maybe not always beat the Seahawks, but to always be like in competitive in, in competition with them. That's the Seahawks and the Niners. Mm-hmm. It's just like they're always going to be like back and forth. Especially now with those two teams. Like, it's going to be that way for a while. Um, with the Seahawks, 
I don't know. The Seahawks don't spend a lot of money in no, the free they agency. They don't at all. But I think this year they might, depending on who's there. I've been hearing I've been hearing rumors that what, if AJ Green's a free agent this year, well they put they put. They but if I'm the Bengals, I'm I'm franchise tagging AJ Green. I want some. You would want something for AJ Green, to be honest. If you're gonna get yeah, if I, if I want to screw that, I'll take a pick. You're not gonna get a first round pick for AJ Green. No, you're not. Especially not thirty two year old AJ Green. Maybe a third. Why not trade for a player? Because on a third round pick, you you get a, your selection. Yeah, you get and you also probably get a better contract. That's true. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So I mean, going with all that, let's transition towards the wild card. Bills at Texans. Honestly, this is probably like the hardest one. Not 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 to say that like I'm emotionally invested, but like this the Texans. One. Okay, <laughs> you. <laughs> Okay, you. May, uh, this is the, the more I think about it, the more I'm just kind of like, I don't know, good dude, because like, I don't know what Texans team I'm gonna get. I don't really don't, uh, and it all like honestly, Will Ferrell, Will Fuller not being on the field, mm, and I, Deshaun Watson can't do everything. You're right, he doesn't have to. He's got a good run game with Carlos Hyde. The offensive line's not terrible anymore, and guess what? You're forgetting the name. JJ what? DeAndre Hopkins. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> 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 immediately names the guy who's coming off the IR <laughs> with yeah. a peg injury. I mean, uh, you know what? Uh, I'll go with the Texans, too. I think the Texans are just kind of... Think it's going to be a low-scoring shit fest? I really hope not, because that that'd be make, that'd make me really sad. It was like that, that, Jags, that Jags game against the, 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 the Bills, too. What about Giants-Redskins this year? Low-scoring shit oh, fest. Oh, God, dude. I mean, it was, maybe it wasn't a shit fest, but you, and, and again, we were fans, but like the Niners-Redskins game was kind of brutal. That was just the weather. Yeah, but it, oh god! Regardless, it was such a brutal game. But I, we both go for Texans. Titans, Patriots. Oh, pff, Patriots, dude. Patriots. Oh no! You know what? I'll play contrarian. Uh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna go with Titans. Uh, hey, I, I wouldn't. I could see it happening. But this is also the Patriots in the postseason. Patriots in the postseason are always a different and team. And in Foxborough. In Foxborough, but my, probably the only game in Foxborough. That's fine with me. But I'm, I'm still gonna say that. Derrick Henry and and AJ Brown. Derrick Henry's gonna have a whole, is gonna pick a terrible time to have the worst game of his career. I'm gonna disagree with that. I'm gonna disagree with that and say that they're, that he's gonna rush. For, no, I don't think he's gonna get a hundred yards. I'm gonna I'm saying he's probably gonna get like maybe eighty seven. For so like that's very touchdown. specific. It's eighty seven. Like, here, mark my, mark, mark, my, mark my words. It's gonna be like fifteen carries for like. 87 to like 92 yards. I'm going to touch on that. One carry, 87 yards, touchdown, broken shoulder. Oh, oh no, dude. Then who's going to save the team? Deion Lewis? No. That's the story we need to beat the Patriots. No. Uh, Patriots always get lucky breaks in the playoffs, but they're also just a good team. That's why I could easily see Patriots winning this one. Yeah, I mean, it's basically just Patriots against many Patriots. It's Mike Rabel brought mm-hmm. Logan. Or what Malcolm, was Butler. Malcolm Butler and Logan Ryan, Logan Ryan and Deion Lewis. Deion Lewis. Just, that's just t- Patriots. Just mini Patriots. Bill Belichick's like, I know you were there. Yeah, yeah, for real. But beyond that, yeah, I go for Titans. Should we just skip Viking Saints? We both are saying Saints. Yeah, I know you. I know there's that. Like my my my, my heart says Minnesota, but my but my head is totally Saints Saints. Because like, I'm sorry, Kirk Cousins is not the answer. Uh, I I I thought he was, and on, honestly, I was one of those advocates saying like that the Niners should have gotten him. Uh, oh, I think I think Kirk Cousins in the fort with uh, Shanahan as his play caller is completely different. Kirk Cousins than you have. No, him, so. granted, but like looking at that, you're kind of like, oh damn. Especially with Stefan Diggs, I know Adam Thielen is dealing with some like injury issues, but like Stefan Diggs and the fact that your only like identifiable like offensive player is. Alvin Cook and even he's struggling with injuries. You're just like, well, it seems like a recipe for disaster, especially playing in in, in the in, dome. In the dome and uh, and then on, honestly, like I know that they're playing at what 10, 10 a.m. this morning on Sunday, so like they're not like in a prime time <laughs> slot. But no. Kirk Cousins is not going to do anything. He's not going to save the team. I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I'm I not. Think it might. I don't think it, it will. Might. I think it's going to be like maybe. It probably won't because eventually I think in the second half Sean Payton will start to rest his starters. No, uh, oh, brutal. I I say that I won't. I I Vikings. I'm pulling for you. I just don't. 
believe. Give me a reason to believe. Give me a reason to believe. I, I could totally see this being like a 31-17 game, but I could also see it being like a 28-21 like game. 28-20 game, I could see. Yeah. Eh, yeah. But, yeah, but the Saints honestly have the... Uh, the playoffs are never easy. You never know, but the Saints definitely have one of the easier ones. And Seahawks-Eagles is just too close for me to call. This one is just too Yeah, close. I, know, I know a lot of people might be like, oh, well, obviously because you guys are like under fans, but it's like, no, honestly, like Seahawks are coming in, they're, they're injuries. They skid into the playoffs going three for four, uh, going uh, one for four in their last four games. Yeah, and then not to mention they're losing, they lost all their backfield, so not, now they just have, what, Homer, that, that, that rookie. Marshall against the Lynch. team that's better against the run. The Eagles are better against the yeah, run than the Yeah, Niners especially were. with their D-line. So you're going to force Russell Wilson to pass. Oh, shit, the Eagles are fucked. No, um, in a way they kind of are, dude. But no, the but the thing is, people are gonna say, "Well, look back." Eagles shut the Seahawks down earlier. This a stronger Seahawks team down to only seventeen points, and the Seahawks got those seventeen points because um, Penny decided to have one of the best games of his career, and now he's hurt. <laughs> now he's hurt. Now he's gone. So with the and and you're playing against a much better Carson Wentz than you did eight weeks ago. This could this game could go either way, but then again, it's the Seahawks. The Seahawks always find a way to win. So what I'm going to say is this game will not be a blowout for the Eagles. It will either be a close win for the Eagles, a close win for the Seahawks, or a complete. Utter, uh, it's just going to be a close game, actually. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think it's going to. I think you can definitely see like 27-24. Or like seventeen fourteen. I was at seventeen fourteen. Yeah, so some somewhere around there, especially <coughs> with the Eagles not not having Alshon Jeffrey and and um, probably not Zach Ertz. Dude, it's just kind of crazy to see that Carson Wentz has to play with a bunch of no names. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be honest, I don't. Fuck off! That's Antonio Brown's music. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go with the Eagles. Uh, you know what then? I guess I will be the contrarian. Okay, I'm going to have to go it. Seahawks. Do it. Do it, Mix. I'm going to go with the Eagles. I'm going to go with the other bird. All right. So, now. Let's transition, Mix. Let's transition. Let's transition into. I'm going to call this. I'm going to call this the segment, What the Fuck Happened? Because this is going to be us looking back over the draft positions and the rankings of all teams coming into this season. Uh, coming into next season. Going into next season. The 2020 NFL draft order goes Bengals, Redskins, Lions, Giants, Dolphins, Chargers, Panthers, Cardinals, Jaguars, Browns, Jets, Raiders, Colts, Bucks, Broncos, Falcons, Cowboys, Dolphins via Pittsburgh, Raiders via Chicago, and Jaguars via Rams. So, let's start. Number one, Bengals, what the fuck happened? I just think they have a terrible, 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 terrible team. I think they have a terrible team and a pretty shitty coach. Yeah, I don't think Zach Taylor. I don't, I don't think Zach Taylor made any impression. Like coming out of this season, I was just kind of like, wow. Marvin Lewis would have gone a nice six and ten this year. Well, I mean, yeah, I kind of would. I, I kind of would blame more Zach Zach Taylor than like the team because like even even with them without, I guess. Like an actual kind of like number one, considering AJ Green, Cliff Kingsbury made more sense than Zach Taylor. Yeah, it really, it, yeah. Zach Taylor got the job because he he sniffed Knew Sean he, McVay. He, he sniffed McVay's fart one day and yeah. was like, "Oh God." I think after this season, though, a lot of that's going to change. The whole, do you know McVay? Well, I mean, you could argue that Lef, like my like Lafleur, right? Lafleur, he was in that coaching tree of McVay, right? But. Even him, yes, I know the Green Bay Packers went thirteen and three, but like you said, like you switch any of those close games they had, and they could easily be in the wild card or just completely out of the. Well, no, I'm not even gonna say that. I'm gonna say that Lafleur made the team better than McCarthy because McCarthy, Lafleur brings a different no right. ideology to the Packers. Right, right. and However, I'm not denying that. McCarthy is a hundred percent offense. Lafleur is like seventy five percent offense, twenty five percent like oh shit, we have a defense that we need to make sure is good. The Packers are good this year because the defense was good. Well, it helps when you have Preston Smith and Zadarius Smith. And exactly. 
You know, yeah, but with Zach Taylor, like, I, again, I think I agree kind of with you where it's like at least Marvin Lewis kind of would have dragged them to like a 6 and 10, maybe at the most 7 and 9. Yeah, but it, like it's, I mean, I'm not saying Andy Dalton was any good, but it's like you kind of. But if you're blaming Andy Dalton for this, no, team's I'm not at all. Losses, I, there, I, but I know people that are, and Andy yeah. Dalton is not what? the reason this team sucked. Honestly, the team. I mean, this team was just screwed from the beginning. Offense, their first round pick offensive lineman was hurt. Jonah Williams. Jonah Williams. What he tore his ACL? His ACL like in practice. In or practice something. during the off season. I mean, you're already you're starting out great. That, that, that reminds me of the of that Jag, the Jaguars team when they drafted Dante Fowler, mm-hmm. and Dante Fowler like the first practice tore his ACL, so he he actually missed out his entire rookie season. Do you think he got fined for that? Could you get fined for that? It's the Jaguars. Colin was. Oh yeah, Tom, yeah, yeah. Colin, oh, I thought I thought that was like a like a rule where it's like if you get hurt before the season starts your rookie deal, you're gonna get fined. It's like what? How? How can I control when my freaking like tendon tears? But beyond that, yeah, I think, like, I don't think the Bengals, honestly, like, I, the reason why I don't, I can't really, like, explain more about the Bengals is because, like, A, no, no offense to them, but I don't really care. And then second of all, like, I just don't know what to. I have a soft spot for the Bengals. Do you really, Miggy? I, I really do. I, I liked Giovanni Bernard. Oh, we can like a lot of guys, dude. I like AJ Green. Yeah, honestly, I like the I offense like, for I the li- most part. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I just never liked Pac Man Jones. Who likes Pac Man Jones and who Angles likes fans. Hmm. Vontez? I actually didn't hate Vontez. A lot of people hate Vontez. I say Vontez is just in the wrong time of playing football. Vontez would have been a great linebacker twenty years well, ago. Oh, right, but like I think with the Vontez situation. What made it worse was his attitude towards things. Oh yeah, no. 100%. Like if he, if he were to be like, look, I know that like I'm hitting people, but like that's because like I just kind of was in the wrong time. I mean, you're playing like a villain, right? Like you're the villain. You can explain yourself. People might not agree with you, but at least we'll understand, right? It's like okay, maybe you just weren't at the right time. But hitting who was it this year? Who did he hit? Um, it was a Colts player. Jack Jack Doyle. Jack Doyle, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't catch a break, <laughs> but Jack Doyle got decked, and what did Vontaze do? He started just like, oh, bye, ha, ha, like making a big old spectacle of it. Yeah, no, don't get me wrong, Vontaze is a piece of shit. No, yeah, but I'm not even a big AB I like fan, but like he basically just, honestly, Vontaze perfect changed the trajectory of AB's His career. career. <laughs> uh, might be a Hall of Famer, might go to prison. We don't yeah, know. We yet. don't know. We don't know. He might re- he might do and making like an album. Or he might murder somebody. You don't know. I'm kind of worried that's where the AB saga ends. Uh, you know what? The more and more I start reading on him, like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't really care much for him. I just, I'm kind of like, wow, maybe there is something wrong with this guy. Like, oh, there is definitely something wrong with him. Because, like, at first I was like, oh, this is just, like, typical. A drama. Diva bullshit. Diva bullshit. But like, the more you think about it and the more all the stuff, he's like, he's always flip-flopping and kind of all over the place. This man has kids. Yeah. What oh, Jesus. This man also, the girl he's living with, mm. he made sure her kids aren't living there. You heard that, right? The woman he's living with, his his, his, his girlfriend his girl right whatever. now, her kids are, not allowed are living, house. I think, with her parents. Or are, or were. It was. I remember reading that. I, I hope that was a bunch of bullshit, but it I wouldn't really surprise so, me. Too. That's actually kind of a dick move. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry we, could, we went on uh, yeah, no, AB. But, Fuck that. But now the, the Redskins... Redskins will be better next year. Oh, without a doubt. Hundred percent Redskins Honestly, will be better. Honestly, I've ne- I, I again, we're Niner fans, but like watching Ron Rivera go on that podium and just be like, "I'm not here for a five year rebuild." You know, I came from a disciplined family, like military family. You know, I'm here to 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 like change this and whatever. It was almost kind of like Ron Rivera was literally staring at Dan Center and going, "You better let me, like, try to fix this freaking team." And I think if anyone can remember about Ron can. Oh yeah, he's resilient. I'm I actually really loved how he reacted to getting fired. He was just like, Well I have four weeks off, so <laughs> Well no, I I'm gonna say that like I was kinda I, I didn't think Ron Rivera should not have been fired. I was kinda hoping this is my <clears throat> this is my dirty little secret. I was hoping Ron Rivera would get fired a few couple weeks before. 
and I was hoping Robert Salah would get like the Cleveland Hired. Browns job or something, and I was hoping Riverboat Ronnie could come on in. If anybody can make that Niners defense number one, it's Riverboat Ronnie. Yeah, but Ron, Ron would never settle for a DC position unless you just unless no one else was hiring. Well, yeah, but because like, I mean, to, well, like, be, like besides, you know, you can argue besides Ron Rivera and. Mike McCarthy, like those are the two, I guess, like marquee coaches you have this year, this off season. I would say McCarthy is McCarthy is going to be a, who a team settles on. No, for sure. But what I'm saying is like, though, I mean, Mike Mike McCarthy wasn't a terrible coach. He just kind of like ran his course in Green Bay, and they weren't like he just wasn't doing anything. I think he's he's too much of a Mike McCarthy's too strong of a personality. If you're if you're going to have a coach who's got that strong of a personality, you need to have submissive players. A lot of young. Well, that's hard when you have Aaron Rodgers. Rookie. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think McCarthy might have been able to do better with other teams, but also I'll say that if he doesn't have the quality of talent that Aaron Rodgers has, he probably might not. You know that that that's, that's it's a very nice way for me to say nothing. No, but that's true. But again, like the whole Green Bay situation, I think it's it was both ways. Mike McCarthy being kind of stubborn, but also Aaron Rodgers being a dickhead too. I mean, yeah, Aaron, like, I mean, Aaron like, Rodgers does come off as a dick. He comes no, off he, as a total dick. Like, but he's the he's the most talented quarterback in the NFL. No, that's okay. When th- healthy, that okay. Arguably, being said said being said that like that, I don't think that like ever excuses like not listening to your coach. Don't get me wrong, your coach has to like earn respect from you and vice versa. But like Mike McCarthy being like the second longest tenured coach during that time, right? Like Bill Belichick, Mike McCarthy, and so forth. But like. No, wasn't Harbaugh yeah. around longer? Harbaugh, like John Harbaugh with Baltimore? I'm not sure. I think it was Mike McCarthy, but I don't, whatever, whichever. Well, one. McCarthy also got fired at the same time Marvin Lewis did, and I thought Marvin Lewis was around longer. But Marvin Lewis was almost like a Bengal for like twenty something years. So like that's that's actually like crazier. But beyond that, I'm sorry, but ah, uh, I don't know, dude. I like for. I guess I guess I'm just I'm not saying that they are not team players, but like just Aaron Rodgers rolls me the wrong way. Like he rolls everyone the wrong way. Like you just look at him on the sideline, he's just like miserable, like miserably fucking awful. I think he's just frustrated all the time. I think maybe Aaron Rodgers isn't a total asshole, but I think that like just the amount of shit he's put up with over the last few years. Oh great, all my receivers are hurt. Oh great, now I'm hurt. Oh boy! Now my coach just doesn't just wants to neglect the defense and is going to rely on me to put up thirty some odd points per game every single game. I mean, but you, he kind of I mean you kind of you got to say that he kind of maybe in, like had had liked being able to be like the maybe when you're young, but when you when you're kind of older like Aaron Rodgers. Well, yeah, that's for sure. But that's that's that, that, that goes without saying. I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking too deep into it. But like with the Redskins, <laughs> we're going to move on to the Redskins mix. But the Redskins like. They're, I think they're going to be better next year. I don't think there's – they're probably going to draft, like you said, Chase Young. I think Chase Young makes sense. So their defensive line are just, is just going to be pretty solid too. You're going to have Ioannidis, uh, Payne, and, and Young, and then you're going to uh, have um, – Kara get rushed off the edge. Yeah, and then you still have Montez Sweat. He can still develop. That's into right. Still, Holy crap, that's going to be a yeah, dangerous – Yeah, Montez if, Sweat and – I think their only shit, like the only shitty part about their de- their defense is secondary. Their, their secondary. But but as we know, and I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but like if you have a good pass rush, most often than not, your, your secondary looks better. Your secondary is gonna look better. I'm not saying they're it's gonna be like night and day where it's like they're gonna be from one of the worst defenses to top yeah, five. I saw a nice little thing is like people have been crapping all over Kill Witherspoon, but if you look at it, he does good coverage until the play breaks down. That's true, I, and and that, and that goes without saying. He's just kind of like it, the way we he's been kind of like that after that injury. Just but the, when he came back off the injury, the defense was starting to get beaten to shit. Yeah, I don't oh. know. I feel like it was just like a perfect storm of shit for him because like you you start off with your defense healthy, everyone's healthy. I mean, Nick Bosa wasn't a hundred percent like the first four, like four weeks, but, but defense wise, the the rest of the defense was. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think it was just kind of clicking. I think the early buy really screwed us over. Hard, yeah. yeah, like I know it's kind of hard to cry over like a early buy week when you're the number one seed, but like all those had like, the Niners had like a week seven buy, a week eight buy. I think the Niners would have an extra win. I think they would actually blow out more teams. To be honest, like if it weren't it, honestly like that game with the two games against Arizona, I 
I don't think if our D, if we had like a bye week, I don't think we even have the same close games as we do Arizona. I, Seahawks, yeah, definitely. I don't think the Seahawks. I forget the Seahawks, but the Seahawks are always going to be there. But but let's whatever. But let's move on to the Lions, Redskins. This the it's looking up. But let's move to the Lions. I. I just think I don't think I, I Matt Stafford got hurt. That's what really screwed the Lions season. The Lions would not be the thirtieth ranked team in the NFL if Matt Stafford didn't get hurt. True, I think I think, but then also like they don't have a running game. They, they never get, they the never, O-line. Ever, they ever, need to ever get, ever have a, a running game. It's the O line. I mean, think the quarterback gets killed this year. It's the O line's fault for the most part. In the run game, Kerryon Johnson can be your running back. He can be a good running back. Dude, you can put whoever you want in there. You can even you can Zach Zenner. No, no. Honestly, you could put fucking who's the who's the number one right now? The I I know that Derrick Henry is the, the rushing leader. Derrick Henry is rushing leader. Yeah, but I don't think he's the best. Like, who do you think is the best running back in in the NFL? Like, well versatile. Zeke. Okay, so let's say for example Zeke. You put or Zeke. Saquon. Ooh. Okay, Zeke. Okay, let's just say Zeke or Saquon. You put them into the the to the Lions team, and they're now running the show. They're not doing what they're doing now. Yeah. And that's saying something, because Saquon, at least, Saquon's on a not-so-good O-line either. Is it better than the than the Lions by a little bit? I think Derrick Henry would actually do well with the Lions for the sole fact, though, that all, so many of Derrick Henry's yards are after contact. Well, true, but he also needs you also need some space and, like, gaps and stuff. It's not, if your line can't provide that, I don't care who you are. The Lions just, they... And the defense, the defense because the offense couldn't do much defense was on the field. Yeah, the de- time. honestly, defense you can see how depleted they were at the end. Like it was just like, wow, we're on the field most of the and time. And why did you trade away Quandre Diggs? He was one of your. I, I, I get you got something from the Seahawks. What did I, they get? Exactly. Was it a receiver? Oh and my a god, pick? that's such bullshit. Because like that, that's nothing. Like the offense should be fine. I think Galladay is going to be great. It's um. Yeah, Galladay's going to be great. Who's the other receiver they got? It's not Tate. It's, um... I don't even know, dude. Marvin... Oh, Marvin uh, Jones. Marvin Marvin Jones Jones Jr. But even he's kind of, like, tipping the skills on, like, the wrong side of 30. Well, yeah, but... And then, what, tight end? I guess TJ Hawkinson. Who really did not have as good of a year as I expected. Yeah, you're right. No, he did not. But then again, your quarterback gets killed, so, I mean... And you're stuck with David Blow or whatever. It's Blau. Is it Blow? It's Blow. Okay, I'm going to start calling him Blow. David Blow. <laughs> he was eight. He was better than Driscoll. Yeah, he was. I don't think he deserved the 46 overall Madden game. Oh, my God. Who did, to who? He was one David Blow. Okay, maybe that was just because he was, he was, he was new. Think, undrafted, and... yeah. Anyways, uh, moving on from Lions. Giants. Defense. Defense. Defense blows. Defense blows hard, man. So hard. Oh I my feel God. so bad for uh, who's their strong safety? Um, Denoris Jenkins. No, he's gone. He's on the Saints now. Oh, you're right. What other? Oh, Jabril Peppers. Jabril Peppers. I feel bad for Peppers. I was, I was about to say uh, Landon Collins, but Landon Collins is with Washington, and he even do anything. Do they? They have snacks, right? Who's snacks? Harrison. Oh yeah, they do have. No, they don't have Damon Harrison anymore. The Giants so, don't. They have. Do uh, you went to Detroit? Oh, that's right. And even. God, D- fucking Damon Harrison couldn't help them. <laughs> or Trey Flowers. Or Mike Daniels. Oh. <laughs> or Mike Daniels. Oh, okay, uh, I'm sorry, we're done talking to the Lions, sorry. but like the Giants. What? You have Tomlinson, who are the, the, the nose tackle, like he's your replacement for Dalvin D- Tomlinson, that's right. Yeah, Dalvin Tomlinson. Um I and mean, he was alright. No, he was he's he has potential, but like other than that, you got rid of Olivier Vernon for Probably like a pick or something, but yeah, that was a that was a dumb one. That was a really dumb one, but like you got rid of, yeah, we got rid of, or they got rid of freaking Olivia Vernon. I'm not saying he was like a they're like a good pass, like a great pass rusher, but he's better when you he had. was the only one you had. <coughs> so, Giants, I think the defense needs work, the offensive line needs work, the receiving core needs work, but on the bright side, you got a running back. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think you should do anything on the offense unless you want to pick someone up on O line. Oh, they need receivers too. No, I'm. I, that's what I was gonna say. Like, I mean, like you said, like this O line. I think honestly, the Giants are not going to compete next year. No, I don't care how good their draft is. I don't care if they sign some like stars in free agency. The Giants will not compete next year. So what I say you do is this year. You build the offense, 
maybe get some pieces on defense, and then next, and then you got get offensive playmakers, makers go in the later rounds, get your line, you know, second round, third round, get your line. I that's why I say Jerry Judy to the Giants would be, oh, him, Golden Tate, and, Slayton, and um, Slayton. Slayton. Oh, you and Evan Ingram. And Evan Ingram who's coming back. That's a, and then you have a pretty well done line. J- Daniel Jones cannot suck in that system. Unless he does. Something. Unless he does. But yeah, I agree, though. They're, I don't think they're going to contend next year at all. And so why not wait a year on the defense, then you build the defense in a year, suddenly you got a pretty decent offense, and you'll have a pretty decent, maybe unproven defense, but just be smart. Just be Let, smart. Let's just hope that, but I, I, don't, I don't trust Gettleman. I trust him more than some guys. Oh, for sure. Dolphins. What the fuck happened? Nothing. They ruined their tank. They did. But honestly, like if if there was a flaw that they had, it's just the fact that they fucked up getting the number one overall pick. But let's be honest, though, they were they could afford to do that after they got they were gonna pick Tua. You think so? Even with the hip injury, they're still gonna go with Tua. If if Tua declares, here's why. Because then you get to tank for another year. And then That's true. when Tua does come back, you have a full blown roster. Why don't However, you, well, why don't you? Why don't? Why wouldn't they draft Tua and keep Fitzpatrick and just let him? I know that Fitzpatrick. Because Fitzpatrick is, is old, and also you'd rather get Rosen the chance to go. That's true. I, so, I keep on forgetting about Josh Rosen. Here's here's what I can see. Also, if you get Tua, you're gonna suck again next year because Tua's not very, gonna play very next possibly, year. Possibly, especially with the defense being awful too. So why not for first overall for first round pick? Why don't go Justin Hebert from Oregon? That makes sense. We're not here to make sense, Mickey. <laughs> We're here for the memes. No, no but uh, I, I mean, I I like it. I like it. I think Hebert could be fine in the Dolphins system. I know he didn't do so great this year, but also I think he should have gone last year in the draft. Yeah, I mean, if Tua declared, I still think the Dolphins would probably get Tua. I mean, maybe, but you're going to... The problem is, a hip injury, you can come back from it. But you can't be certain you're going to come back from it. That's true. For Tua, here's the thing. if For Tua, the smart decision is to declare. The smart decision is yeah, to declare. Yeah, get what you can. Because the odds are the Dolphins, the Chargers, and the Panthers all need quarterbacks. And they're probably whichever one of those three are probably going to take you. You're going to go... You might say, well, maybe next year I can get back to the way I was and be a first pick. <laughs> You're not going to play next year, Tua. Right. Or if you do, there's you're going to be rusty. Take the bag. Secure the bag. Oh, man. Uh, but Dolphins, I could see that they're going to go quarterback. And with the Dolphins, what happened? Just the, there was no team. They, well, yeah, they, I, they got rid of all the talent. Honestly, what happened, I would, what I would say was like, Exactly what you said, but just, I th- honestly I'm more surprised what Brian Flores was able to do with him. Yeah, he had he like, did amazing with. So like honestly, out of all the top five picks, like the Dolphins are probably the ones on the up and up right now. Redskins too. Well, Redskins too, but just like the Dolphins, like I, I besides their record, they obviously we already knew they were bad, but for what they had and then coming up and winning five games, that's that's pretty good. So, Chargers, I'm just super super sad. I, I don't know what went wrong. Well, I actually know. I think I think it was time. the fact that they weren't. They were not okay. They won games last year, but they were not a great team last year. They're a, they were a an okay team that won way more games than they should have last year. Well, I mean, they honestly just had like their the, in my opinion, they honestly just had like their the reverse of what they had last season, like this season. The one they this lost one score games of, they lost. This yeah, year. yeah. So you just flip that, and all of a sudden they're and Phil Rivers looked a lot more ass this year. He looked terrible. I think time is finally getting to him. Well, I mean, we could, you could say time's also getting to Brady now. I think you could argue that too. I and mean, the same, and the same thing with Aaron Rodgers when you said like that whole thing with like, oh, he's not cares, he doesn't care about my defense, or he doesn't care about like stacking up. He's offense. just done now. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's the thing. It's like I, I, the Chargers should know that they have to like, if they want to move on with Philip Rivers, which I don't think they're gonna. I think they draft a quarterback this year. Yeah. So. I think because I mean, think the edge is pretty good. The receiving core is good. No, you, their defense is good. Like their defense is honestly st- not should be a top ten. They top should five. really, they should really be. Unfortunately, like uh, that, 
with safety or corner? Derwin James, like, he got hurt. So, like, You don't know what you have, yeah, in that team. So, they just got to – it's the offense, I think, for the Chargers that need work. Uh, well, let's, let's – And then Melvin Gordon doing the stupid freaking – I think it was also a mixture of, like, uh, I'm not drama. really – yeah, I'm not one to think that like drama has much of an impact, but then you look at the Pittsburgh Steelers and you're like, oh yeah, uh-huh. So, I think it was just like a perfect storm of a season that it's like, Phillip probably just doesn't have enough in the tank anymore. He should have just stopped having so many goddamn kids. <laughs> but I think the Chargers are probably going to go with quarterback. I don't know who, but he's trying to field an offense. Um, all right, Panthers. I think Panthers. <laughs> Panthers are simple. Cam got hurt. Yeah. Cam got hurt, and it, and you realize how Cam was carrying this team. Because the thing is, this team is not significantly worse than last year talent-wise. Coaching-wise, it's the same. It's the fact that you lost Cam Newton. And you, you, didn't, you didn't go with a backup. I'm going to say, with Ryan Fitzpatrick, Panthers would have been a 500 football team. Probably. Maybe even better. But, holy shit. Will Greer looked bad when he played. Yep. But you know who looked even worse? Cal Allen. Cal Allen. So, Panthers, uh, I, I really, for your guys' sake, I hope you guys get that quarterback oh, in the draft sure, yeah. this year. Or, you keep Cam. It's got to be one or the other. But I think, I think the new coach comes in, wants to get his guy. So, I, I see Cam out. I do too. Do you think they trade him or do you think they, they trade just him. kill him? They trade him and they, they get really crappy return on him. Actually, I think it depends on what the comp pick would be. I honestly could see Cam being traded to like one of those teams that need like a quarterback. Well, I mean, normally teams that need quarterbacks are the ones that sign quarterbacks. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> wow. Wow. <I'm> making... <laughs> That was my best. That was my best book. Damn shit! <laughs> right there. Whoa. No, uh, but no. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think it'll be like the, it'll be the team that the last thing they need, like the final piece is a quarterback. It's not gonna like be... to be honest. For example, I know we haven't gotten to the book, like, the Colts. I could totally see them trying. Like... Oh yeah, it'll be a team that would be good if they had their quarterback. They have all the other pieces. Right. If I were Cam and, and the like Colts it... look like the team I want to go to, yeah. I don't want to go to the Bears if I'm. No, don't. Cam. No, no, no. Go to the... Honestly, if I were to be Cam, I'd be like, look, if you're going to trade me somewhere, trade me to the Colts. Go to the Colts because also... You have a line. And a defense. You have a line, a defense, and... But the, the worst part about the Colts... The division's getting stronger, though. Yeah, but I would rather be competing in a good division than always be hurt in True. the NFC South. When he, True. He, they had to compete anyway because... Don't get me wrong. I th- I don't think Atlanta's like terrible, but Atlanta also like Atlanta can be a good team. Atlanta is, in my opinion, like the Titans. Yeah, like they're. The, I mean, they had a down year this year. The but... Buccaneers are like the Jaguars, and the Saints are kind of similar to the Texans. Yeah. So, yeah, Colts would work fine for Cam. But other than that, I mean, do you think the Panthers will also try to get a quarterback? Do you think it'll be like three quarterbacks in a row? It could be. Could very easily be. Could, could be. Um. Cardinals now. Um, when it comes to what the fuck happened, you're you're rebuilding. Yeah, I this don't... is this is what you expect. You did better than I expected. What what they win five games? Yeah. Well, they did beat Seahawks, the Seattle Seahawks. They went six or seven. Then? They went six, seven, and one, I believe. Six, seven, and one. Yeah. So they no, they they can't. That's that's only uh, fourteen games. Oh really? Six, six nine, nine and one? one? Yeah, I think it was six nine and one. Uh, whatever, but yeah. That's way better. I had him pegged at four wins this year. Honestly, that tie is impressive. That tie was in week one. <laughs> to, to the Steelers. I guess the Lions. Oh, was it the Lions? I thought it was, it was the, the Steelers. Lions. Oh, I know the Steelers had a tie not too long ago, but But yeah, no, um I'm sorry about that. No, that's right. Uh, so uh, moving on. Um Jaguars I just think it's a disaster. Blow it all up. I just think yeah, I think that one season was honestly like the best it was gonna be. You know how when people say they were the Bears of last year. Yeah, but but you know you know when people say like oh whenever your team is like the best it is right like right now it probably won't ever be as good as it is moving forward. That scares me about the Niners. That's no, well. yeah, of course. Like, but that's that's like almost the inevitable. Like, it's enjoy it for now because eventually it's gonna stop. Unless you're the Lords of the Rings. 
the New England Patriots. But even them, they could be on their like their dynasty might be on the chopping chopping block. I'm not gonna say completely that they're off. Yeah, but, you. But people always say. But it's a possibility. People say for six years is this but it if, for the Patriots? But if there is a time, it could be now, Migs. Could have been 2013 too, where Brady had a worse season. You're you're right. I'm not gonna say anything about the Patriots, but mm. the like the Jaguars. That one season they went what like 11 and five or 12 and four or something. It didn't even amount to anything. I really wish that now. I mean, well, let's let's move past the Jaguars because it's not that they don't deserve any more time. It's just there's way too much, and yeah. we don't have another hour on this podcast, right? And so we're gonna lead to the bigger dumpster, <laughs> the bigger dumpster fire of the Cleveland Browns. I wish we had a sound effect of like an audience saying, "What the fuck happened?" <laughs> Because this, maybe, when, maybe when our budget just jumps up a, like a whole bunch. Oh man! So you know, like if we give a dollar to our budget, it jumps up a billion percent. We're like, oh my god, if NATO can afford a sound effect. <laughs> but the Browns, I don't even know what to do. I mean, I I, I think honestly, you gotta line. get a coach. You gotta get a coach. That honestly, the line's bad. Draft line this year. This is a bad year. This is a bad. I mean, a good year. A good year for O lineman. Get two O linemen, double up, because no, for real, freaking Dorsey just trading away everyone. Because you got a pass rush. Miles Garrett will be back, hopefully not trying to kill people. And the and the offense got talent. Get that line, get a coach in there who can work with Baker, and Bing Bang Boom. Uh, and then honestly, like the East is yours. And honestly, I hope they get a quarterback that like makes discipline, one hundred percent on the top. Baker because Freddie Kitchens did not help anything. No, yeah. Freddie Kitchens was not a good coach. Like you could tell, uh, with all due respect to Freddie Kitchens, but the, the every player on the team made them made Freddie Kitchens their bitch. Yeah, like it didn't he was matter. A pushover. Who, yeah, he was taking all that shit from Odell and everything. I was like, okay, yeah, this coach isn't doing anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna. Waste more breath on the Browns. Me neither. Now. I, you know, we yeah, we're short on time, so we're just probably gonna just try to get through as much as possible. So the Jets, Jets, honestly, they're looking up. They are. They are looking up. It just sucked that C.J. Mosley was out for most of their year. I don't think he would have added any wins to this he team. He wouldn't, but it would have been nice to kind of maybe rejuvenate some of it. I mean, Jamal Adams is obviously like your star. I think Jets defense. need to go receiver. They do because what Quincy and Nunwa. Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson and, I mean, Le'Veon Bell didn't even, he went bowling instead of. And guess what? You can draft O-line in the second round because it's a deep O-line class. So, and, and a d- deep wide receiver, so I would try, I would probably go wide receiver also. Try to help Sam Donald out, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, I don't, I just think that Adam Gase, mediocre, mediocrity, that's all it is. He'll be a good stopgap coach until you guys finally need to contend and then you have to get a new coach. Yeah, you're probably going to have to. <laughs> Uh, Raiders. <laughs> Sound effect. What the, the fuck, fuck happened? happened? No, I mean, I think we know pretty well what happened with the Raiders. They didn't have any receiving targets, so Carr, Carr had a great pr- completion percentage. I think he had the best in the league this year. Possibly, I couldn't tell you. But his only target worth a damn was Darren Waller. And, and Hunter Renfro. Yeah, and the look on your face when I said Hunter Renfro was like a spat in your it's, face. Yeah, it's just like l- literally the most milk toast reaction ever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, sure. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's like that one guy from Green Bay, Arcego Whiteside. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm. Well. Well. Mm. Andy Isabella. Yeah. Um, <laughs> exactly. Dude. Actually, I like Andy Isabella. No, I, I do too. Uh, Keem Butler or, uh, or or that guy. What Carry is on Johnson. Alan Lazard or whatever. It's like. Ooh, oh, ooh, dude, ooh. Lazard. I forgot about him. <laughs> But no, yeah, but no, the Raiders, they just need, they're, I know Amari Cooper, eh, he kind of was kind of pooped this year, but, you know, you can tell that they miss him. You can tell, yeah, I mean, the, and also, well, the Raiders came into the season expecting Antonio Brown, okay, this is not a, that, that's true, this is not, that's, this is not like, so much that went wrong this year. You could argue that the Raiders kind of got fucked a lot. They did. So, Raiders... So listen, I'm sorry to tell you, to fans of the Oakland Raiders, this is, this is, it's not looking up. It's it's looking down. Actually, it's looking terrible. But for fans of the Las Vegas Raiders, things are kind of looking up. All right, <laughs> things are. <laughs> you got to slap the face of one fan base to gain the respect of another, I guess. Uh, they're gonna stay the same fans. Well, and then not to mention, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, 
those three first round picks they got last se- last actually year. Actually, not terrible. Josh Jacobs was the best one, but like Cleveland Farrell. Who's the other one? Exactly. Uh, no, it was no, it was the dude on Hard Knocks. Um, the safety who got injured. Oh yeah, Jonathan game. Abram. Abram, he'll be good. Jonathan Abram will be good as a box safety. You won't trade me. You can't trade me. He was. He said, "You can't cut me." You can't cut me, right? But I mean, Cleveland Farrell. Mm. Cleveland Farrell was bad. He was terrible. And but Josh I, Jacobs and I think Cleveland Farrell. You know what he is? He's not terrible. He's Eric Armstead for rookie season. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not terrible. Not great. Okay. Well, on to the Colts. On to the Colts. I mean, we know what the fuck happened with the Colts. Andrew Luck retired. Yeah, bit, yeah. And to be honest, good for him. I, I I know, I mean, personally... They'd be a playoff team if he didn't. Yeah, personally, I would love to see him back in the NFL, but, like, if he if he puts a health uh, before anything, I'm like, okay, for sure. Because, I mean, I don't even feel sorry for the Colts, like, management, because you just fucked that well, good this, thing Well, this up. isn't the management that fucked him. This is the management that tried to help him. Right, but, like, a little too, too little, too late. Too little, too late, Like, yeah. if... The owners just screwed that one up big time. So, I mean, again, I don't know who you. I'm not really good at these draft things, but like, I don't even know who you. I'm more. I'm much better at just kind of like, ah, uh, picking out problems that I find in in a team. And so with like the, it's just very obvious that Andrew like and they're missing Andrew Luck so bad. It almost feels like Frank Reich wasn't expecting Andrew Luck to be like, oh yeah, I'm retiring. And and then how and when I saw him like kind of like oh he's a. Like we're gonna stick with Jake, Jacoby Brissett. I was like, ah, Frank. Wright no, just uh, Jacoby Brissett was not the big issue. No, I'm not team. saying he was. But it's you just could that just the tell difference him. between Andrew Luck and Jacoby Brissett's big. Oh yeah, of course, of course. <coughs> so, <clears throat> I mean, uh, with the Colts, we know what happened. I don't <clears throat> think they drafted a quarterback though. No, I, I don't think they should. I think if you're the Colts, <clears throat> you try and build the rest of your team, and then you do the most Colts thing ever. You need a good quarterback. There's a great quarterback in the class. You tank hard. You tank hard. Remember that? Suck you, for luck? <laughs> the suck for luck. Now it's the, um... I don't know how you ran Trevor Lawrence. What, Pray what? for Trevor. I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Lose the endeavors for Trevor again. There we go. No endeavor. All in Trevor. Yeah, there you go. Alright, um... Oh, the, the Bucks. Famous champion? <laughs> it was... There's... Yeah, honestly, the That's defense wasn't the great. Game. The defense of the Bucks is not great, by any means. But the big issue is the fact that Jameis Winston threw 30 interceptions this year. Even if... Even if... Okay, mind you, that is... You're looking at, like, 1. 1. 1.9... Interceptions almost per two a game. Game almost two a game. If the regular season was fifteen games, he would be averaging two picks a game. Well, yeah. So like this is this is that situation over like that lost you some games. Don't get me wrong though. If you go quarterback this year in the draft, I mean I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. I don't. That's keep, actually another potential. I don't place let for Jameis camp. stay though. I let Jameis go. No. Okay. Well, actually, that'd be interesting. But if I'm the Bucks, you need a good quarterback next year. Or in the coming years. I say build the rest of that team this year. Well, who do you get ride a, with? Get an ass quarterback. And tank. You know <laughs> what? Just start tanking. You trade for the assiest of ass quarterbacks right now. Mike Lennon? Nope. Mitch Trubisky? No, he's not a backup. Oh, oh sorry. Backup. CJ Beathard? Nope. Don't, no, 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 no. Not even terrible either. God, I'm trying to think. Geno Smith? Nope. Who do you pick? Is it Blaine Gabbert? Listen here, Peter Mann. Oh I my god, the just... Now, I know people are going to say that's stupid, but here's the thing. You never want your team to suck. Honestly, but you if you want to be from. good two years from now, you need the Peter Mann. You need the Peter Mann. But watch he goes, watch he leaves Oakland where he didn't get the starting job. I mean, he wasn't going there. He was fighting for the backup job. But watch, he leaves there. He's just like Gruden. Goes to Tampa Bay and just, oh, you know, just does great. He actually transcends. I mean, think about this. You're giving Nathan Peterman two top quality receivers. Maybe that's bad. Okay, don't do that. 
Because then you might win too many games and be out of the Trevor Lawrence sweepstakes. Right. But I think you do. Let's go even ass, more ass than Nathan Peterman. All right? Josh Rosen. I say, because Josh Rosen has no excitement in him. This dude would rather be saving the Penguins than throwing a touchdown pass, man. And so this guy will, trust me, he'll be perfect. Because then you get Trevor Lawrence and all hell breaks loose. Okay? You will win the AFCs. You will, mark my words. Mark my words right here, right now. If they, this year, do not go quarterback. And instead, build the rest of that team. Let Jameis walk. And then just eat shit for a full year to get Trevor Lawrence. You will not win the AFC South. You will own the AFC South for years to come. And the AFC... No. <laughs> the, the, the NFC makes The <laughs> NFC South... <laughs> You will own it for years to come. The NFC South will go through Tampa Bay, and you will just, you will be a great team. But you said that for the for the Colts. You said that for the Raiders. They're all going to tank next year then? <laughs> it's the Trevor Lawrence sweepstake. The no endeavor no, for Trevor. Speaking, speaking on Trevor Lawrence, though, just really quickly. Did you, uh, apparently there was rumors saying that the NFL would actually be willing to implement like a lottery if too many teams were perp- like show they do that i lose all faith in the nfl do not do what the nba does okay this is how you keep teams doing well because if there's too many teams tanking then teams are like well shit i guess we actually have to be good in the nba the nba is stupid for that i i hate that you can't do that in a 16 game but also here's the thing in a 16 game season you can't really tank so well because then you lose your job a lot easier mm-hmm. Think about how many coaches in the NBA stay around on teams, even though they're terrible coaches. In the NFL, we'll fire a coach after a year. Right, right. Unless the coach gets like the gets the team's blessing to just shit the bed. But no, for the Bucks and the Colts, of course you want Trevor Lawrence. Because you could build for him. But both teams could. What I'm trying to say is that these two teams will be the interesting ones to look at in the years to come. I can agree. Because I think Trevor Lawrence goes to one of them. That's a possibility, Migs. Because the Bengals aren't going to draft him if they're going to take Joe Burrow this year, even though I think they should take Chase Young. But They won't do that. They, 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 they're <laughs> they're, gonna, not they're gonna going to try to go quarterback probably to change it up, even though Dalton is not. He is not the source of their problems. No, he's not, but I think the, the, they're looking for a move, especially Zach Taylor. Yeah. Anyways, um, moving on to the Broncos. Broncos, you're going to get back um, their other edge rusher. What's his name? Oh, uh, Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb. The secondary, I think maybe you fix up the secondary, but don't touch the offense too much. I think this offense will be good. No, yeah, don't do anything to the offense. I mean, I think... Make a defense. Get a defense this year that can stop the Chiefs. Do that. West is yours. True. Um... Falcons, I honestly they just resurged at the end of the season. Get a new strength and conditioning coach. Falcons. Oh, I know, dude. They had the, they they had the they had San Francisco itis. I mean, San Francisco still at San Francisco itis. That's that's true. But sixteen I, I, players on season-ending injured reserve. Yeah, I never mind. Take it back. We it's just contagious. The Niners just. But you know what the Niners had this year? <clears throat> they had a they had a strength in numbers. All right, continuing on. Don't even um, say it to me again. Dol- um, oh, Dolphin- oh, Dolphins again and Jaguars No, we, we, we're skipping them. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. We're skipping, I'm skipping, we're skipping them, boys. <laughs> what the fuck happened? Oh, Jason Garrett and Jerry Jones. We them boys. How about them, Cowboys? The only time I've ever liked Stephen A. Smith. The only time I've ever liked Stephen A. Smith. No, honestly, though, like, let's, let's be honest. What happened with the Cowboys is that all talent in the world, it's not coaching, though. Say what you want. It's it's not the game planning. Really, it's not the game planning. It's the discipline. There is none. And there is no coach the Cowboys can bring in, aside from Jim Harbaugh, that could sit there um, and just... It, 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 here's the thing. If the Cowboys get a coach that's just Jerry's bitch, you're done. You're but done. That's, well, but that's, fact, that's the issue. Jerry Jones is always looking for his next bitch. That's right. So, the thing is, uh, the reason I say Jim Harbaugh would be different is because Jim Harbaugh would be fired in two years. Would because... be fired in six weeks after going 6-0. and 
Because Jerry, because he didn't do what Jerry wanted. Because Jerry will be like, Jim, I said we should run it with Zeke. And he was like, they stacked the box. They brought another, they brought the, the both safeties down. A Cooper was manned up against some chicken shit corner. I knew we were going to be. He was like, but you didn't run it. It's like, we won the game on that play. You're fired. It's like, you're fired. That's probably what happened. But I mean, look, I don't care what anyone says. Like, Jason Garrett, sure, like, he was just there to be Jerry's bitch. Jerry, is, Jerry the is the coach. Jerry is the coach. Jerry is the everything. Jerry is the GM. Jerry's the coach. Fuck, if Jerry was, like, 80 years younger, he would be a fucking, like, linebacker or some shit in the team. The thing is, in Dallas, in, so, okay, here, here's a big ch- difference between Christian Catholics throughout the world and then Catholics that live in Dallas. Catholics, they go to their priest, they go to their bishop, who goes to the archbishop, who goes to the cardinals, who goes to the pope, who goes to God, okay? But guess what? God has to go to Jerry in Dallas, okay? <laughs> and the thing is, that's just not the way things should work. And Dallas, <sighs> honestly, the only the only coach I could I could have seen besides Jim Harbaugh, like you just said right now, would have been Ron Rivera. But yeah, but, but that's why Ron Rivera would never go. There. No, of course not. Instead, he went to a division rival. <laughs> no, would, no, no. He went to like a, a division rival for the Cowboys. Oh, Cowboys. for the Cowboys, yeah, yeah, in Washington. Um, but the Cowboys, I don't know. I think next year the tradition will continue on that a different team will end up winning the NFC East. I don't know. It might. It'll probably be the Cowboys, but I could easily see it not being the Cowboys. If, if, That's if me saying nothing again. That really is you saying nothing, Migs. I'm an expert at saying nothing. Well, to be honest, we already went over Do- Dolphins, Raiders, and. Jags. So let's go Pittsburgh then. Pittsburgh lost Big Ben, but Pittsburgh's issues are more than Big Ben. The defense is fine, but the offense sucked. It's terrible. The offense is terrible. And yes, oh, well, you didn't have Big Ben, but. Big you, also didn't have a, you also didn't have a run game. Oh, but that was because Big Ben wasn't there because Big Ben, you're more worried about passing. Okay, but then when you do pass, you should have him caught off guard. Juju was dropping passes. Juju was bad this year. Juju was really bad. So, here's my recommendation to Pittsburgh. You, you, you try and... This is this is gonna this is gonna be tough for Pittsburgh. It's time to move on from Big Ben. It's time. You, this I is would, not an injury. This is not an injury you come back from and you're the same player. He's getting his elbow completely redone. Like, and, I mean, a, a, and a, even if he does come back, you're what postponing the inevitable for a year. You're yeah. not going to be a Super Bowl contender. You probably can't even win your division next year. <coughs> so what I say you Especially do... Especially with Baltimore there. No. Build the rest of your team. Build everything else. Get receivers. It's a deep receiving class. Oh, wait. You don't have a first round pick. Never mind. Second round. Late second round. You got to get some receiving threats. You got to build the rest of this team. And then next year, you need to shit the bed hard and get into the no Another endeavor for team. Trevor. Okay. <laughs> Screw the endeavor for Trevor. <laughs> Screw the endeavor for Trevor. All right. That's... That's really it. Um, Chicago. Going to oh my god, Chicago. Chicago. I mean, I, I know I we be- know what the issue is with Chicago. I bet, I bet they're really feeling it now, moving up one spot to not take Patrick Mahomes or Deshaun, or Deshaun Watson, Watson, but to take the quarterback from UNC and Mitchell Trubisky. Oh. <sighs> even as like we're not even Bears fans, we're just like oh. Damn. Talk. I mean, I'm. I don't. Oh. I mean, technically, it could have been worse, but no. No. You're not gonna be nice to the mix. No. They bitched incessantly for years. Say so for those two years. No, was it two years. Yeah. The two years, like, oh, Niners, you thought you had us, but we've got Mitch. Mitch. He's winning games. What are you doing? You're sucking dicks out in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> and now all of a sudden the world has come down, Chicago fans. Let me put it this way. Let me tell you a few things you are not going to get with Mitch Trubisky. Number one, you are not getting a Super Bowl with Mitch Trubisky. Number two, he is he's just good enough to not get you in prime draft position to get another Quarterback. Does that sound kind of familiar? 
And another thing, the last thing you're not getting, Bears fans, you're not getting Robbie fucking gold. Let's move on to the Rams. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Rams, uh, what's wrong with them? They just they threw money at people, and honestly, they're the perfect example. They of... now have to throw money at uh, Jalen Ramsey. Otherwise, they traded away two first-round picks. For nothing. For nothing. So, they're the perfect example of a team who went to L.A., right? They went to L.A., and they needed to prove that they were going to be, like, the mainstay and for And just when they're going to get their new stadium, they're going to suck eggs bad. Yeah. I mean, Jared Goff overpaying that guy. So they... much They'd be better off, honestly. They'd be better off without golf. Better off. No golf. Better. Yeah, yeah start um, the picket lines, bro. Start the picket lines. But Poor no, golf. He's got a... I mean, he, he just isn't it. He just isn't it. He's a mediocre at best quarterback. I spent, dude, and you have like Robert Woods and you have Brandon Cooks and... You get a good quarterback in there, this Cooper is the Cup. most unstoppable offense in the NFL. Yeah, and then I granted Todd Gurley with his knee thing, but like, but now and I liked at the end of the season, McVay was like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna use him now." I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna shorten his career even more." Like, let's just. It doesn't make any. S- <laughs> it's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta push that one last bit, and you're like, "Yeah, okay." Why now? Because they thought they could get into the wild card, and then we'd be saying, "Minnesota, what the fuck happened?" That's true. That's true. But so I mean, uh, listen. So no, all I can really say is, like, again, no bias or anything, but, like, the Rams really fucked up. Mm-hmm. They were really banking on that one Super Bowl last year. It just didn't happen. And now they're going to have to suffer the consequences. All this shit about McVay being like, oh, wow, McVay, McVay. McVay just had a really good situation. Had a lot of money to toss around. It's it's not looking good. It's not. It really, it's really, it, it really not isn't. looking good at all. Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> so, uh, oh my goodness! I think that's it. Yeah, I think I think we'll end on that note. Uh, well, man, it was a it was another season. Honestly, very happy. I hope we do this again after the Super Bowl. No, oh, yes, I hope we do too, and hopefully, uh, we don't have any more freaking issues with uh, with the, with anything at all. But again, like I said, I'm really happy with this season. Obviously, as Niner fans, as you're sitting there wearing George Kittle's jersey, the 94 throwbacks, oh, I want one of those. But anywho, thank you for anyone who is listening. Uh, we'll see you next Fuck time. Fuck the Bears. <laughs>